What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I've been a bit absent lately. Um, as like as you guys may know, we've been doing a lot of house renovations, getting ready for our baby that's coming. So um, I know I haven't made a video in a little while, and I wanted to get out today and make a video, but didn't quite wake up early enough. Um, I set my alarm for PM instead of AM. You guys know how that goes. So anyway, we're here. We're gonna do a little disc golf collection video for you guys. Um, this is my new office area. If you guys are interested in seeing our renovations, make sure you guys stick till the end of the video. We'll be showing you guys some of that. I'll take you guys around the house a little bit and show you guys some of the renovations that we've done. So make sure you stick till the end of the video to see that. All right. So we'll kick off the collection video real quick, just showing you guys what I got on the rack. And uh, right now we've just got some miscellaneous hats going on. I've got the get lost, find yourself wander hat from wander disc golf. Um, this is a hat I got at a tournament. Um, didn't win it or anything. You know, we just happened to get that in the player pack. Uh, we have the Flight Factory Trucker hat. We have the Calvin Heimberg Flight Factory Trucker hat. Um, those are available at flightfactorydisc.com, so make sure you go over there and check them out. Other than that, we have just this lay that I got at Hawaii. Um, we got another hat over here, uh, in a DGT hat that I got at another tournament. Um, Aside from that, everything else is just discs. We do have this, oh, we do have this Firefly Glow vinyl. You guys know Glow season's coming up soon, so we're gonna probably be using that. Over here to the side, we also have, these are discs that I bought to review. We got the Crux, the Nuance, the new PX, P2X, and this beautiful Lobster. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We're gonna be doing reviews on those soon. I know I haven't been making videos a lot, but I think I'm finally at the point in our renovations where I can start making videos more. So that's very exciting. And we're getting really close to being um, fully monetized by YouTube. So I, I, it really does mean a lot to me. If you guys watch to the end of the videos, that's gonna help me out a lot. So this is my main upper park bag for a little while. You guys know we have kind of moved on to the Pinch Pro a little bit. I just like the smaller form factor. It holds just as many discs as the other one does. So, um, But this is my tournament bag. We can load it up with stuff. I've got a rain fly for it and everything like that. So that's more like my tournament bag and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's get right on to the rack, what you guys want to see. So first things first, we'll start at the top shelf because top shelf is always the best. Um, right here are my ace discs. Uh, I thought they were going to be in order, but they're not quite in order here. I think this is more, more correct here. So... My very first ace was uh, at 4-H. You guys have seen me play there a lot. That's where I do all of my rapid disc reviews and things like that. Um, about a month into playing disc golf, I got an ace with the Saint. This was my main distance driver, basically, that I used all the time. Um, so, yeah, hit an ace with that. It was very, very cool. Second ace and third ace was with – you guys will probably see my phone number in this video, too, guys um, – Whatever. If you want to troll me, you can call me. Hey, that's cool with me. Anyway, this was with the Dune at 4H as well, hole nine. Um, very first video on the channel, I made a review of the Dune, and I hit an ace with it in my very first video on the channel. So, so if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys go check that out. If you have seen that, I appreciate you guys a lot. You guys are OGs. Um, second and third ace on the channel with that. My fourth ace, what, or wait, 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 wait. Here we go. My fourth ace was with this Firebird, uh, at, again, at 4-H on the same hole that we aced the Saint with. Um, it's hole five. I, I called this shot. I was like, yo, watch this B, because my buddy Brian was there. So I said, hey, watch this B, and did a really awesome skip shot or straight into the basket um, with the Nate Sexton Firebird. So very, very cool there. Uh, next up, we have another Trash Panda Discs. We have the Inner Core. This was at Gator Links hole one uh, during, I was just doing a little practice round out there. The, I did throw multiple shots, but you know, hey, we still count it. Still an ace for me. So uh, very, I also got this one on video. It was a very cool shot. Hit a tree, bounced off, went into the basket. I had completely turned around. I didn't even think the shot was going anywhere. And then all of a sudden I hear chains. <laughs> so very cool there. Um, next up we have, ace number six which is this one here the time lapse uh this is a stock run time lapse again on my channel uh at uwf you guys probably seen that video nice little skip shot um somebody was there to see it i think it was ty or rodney one of the two 
but anyways, yeah, very cool. Very cool there. Um, then we have the ace on hole four at 4-H. Uh, again, this was with the cast plus yarn. I had just bought this disc, like, and, and threw it right into the basket, pretty much. Um, very cool day there. Ty signed it. Mariah was there. Yeah, very cool. Very cool ace on that hole. Um, and then again, another ace at 4-H. We have the Captain's Raptor, the, the Jawbreaker Z-Flex. This was a one that I had picked out at Flight Factory. Um, when I first, when I first started working at the store, I picked this one out. I was one of the first people that got to pick out their discs. You guys will see another one that I picked out that is absolutely freaking gorgeous. I've never seen anything like it really. So, um, make sure you stick to stick, stick around to see that. Um, but we did have a flight factor team stamp on there and it was just a very cool skip shot ace, um, which I believe is also on the channel. So. All right, moving on. These are discs that I used to have hanging up on my wall in my room. And so they're a little bit more collector discs, a little bit more value to them. Uh, these ones are more just sentimental to me. Don't really have any value. These ones actually hold a little bit of value, I hope. So um, we have the Watermelon Hex and Watermelon Paradox. These aren't super, super rare or anything, but um, just some cool discs that I had. Uh, we have this Discraft Luna Limited Edition. Um, I got this, yeah, I won this at an auction. Uh, I think I paid like 12 bucks for this disc. Um, I could probably resell this for about 40 or 50, 50 bucks. So very cool there. Um, we have this beautiful glittery Wonder Bread 20 year buzz. This is one of my favorite collector discs. I mean, the color shift on it is absolutely insane. The glitter is absolutely beautiful. Wonder Bread. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than than this disc right here. Um, and then we have that Captain's Raptor that I was telling you about. This was the only black one that we, that they had at Flight Factory Disc. Um, I haven't thrown this yet. It's got the Wonder Bread. I've got the Flight Factory Team Stamp. And I mean, the Jawbreaker in this is absolutely freaking nuts. I haven't really seen a whole lot of black ones. And um, yeah, this one, I think we got like five or 600 Captain's Raptors. And this was the only black one in the whole stack. So I was pretty lucky to be able to grab that. Shout out to Flight Factory for that. Uh, next disc I bought is a Get, a Get Beefy Zone OS Crystal Flex. Just kind of a normal thing, but has the Wonder Bread stamp clear. Um, you guys, I, I really like the Wonder Bread. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a big Wonder Bread collector, but on collector's discs, if it's got Wonder Bread, I'm kind of sold on it, you know. <laughs> so that's that get beefy there. Um, next, we have the beef stamped Zone OS uh, first run. These were pretty cool when they came out. Um, I actually bought this at Disc Golf Deals USA. They had a, they had it up on their website, um, and I saw the picture of the disc said beef. They sent me the wrong one. They sent me one that didn't say beef, and I hit them up. I was like, hey, yo, what the heck? Um, the the one that I ordered had the beef stamp. And they're like, oh, that wasn't supposed to be up there. You know, that was our mistake, but we'll send you one out anyway. So that was pretty cool of them. I'm, I'm shout out to them too for doing that for me. Um, next up, we have the Eric Oakley Dynasty. I believe this came out this year. And I think there was only like 750 of these made, maybe 500. Um, very, very cool black with the red stamp on it with the dragon guy. Um, I really like the stamp on this disc. If you guys don't know, the Dynasty is my favorite disc in my bag. So that, that holds a little bit to my heart. I love that disc. So I had to buy that. Next up, we have the Aerobi Epic. You guys probably know about this disc. It has a oblong uh, rim to it. One side is bigger than the other side. And you can also kind of tune this disc, apparently. If you bend it up and down, you can make it more understable or, or less. Um, you can make it more overstable or less overstable depending on how you bend it. So pretty cool there. We'll probably be doing a full video on that coming up. Um, so moving on to my more collectible. I know all of these were collector's discs or whatever so far, but these are going to be a little bit more collector's discs. We have the Calvin Heinberg signed uh, Toro here. Um, this was, I actually was given this at the Christmas exchange that we did last year um, for the Emerald Coast group. If you guys are in the Pensacola area, uh, make sure you guys join the Emerald Coast 
Facebook group, Emerald Coast Disc Golf Scene, um, to keep up with events and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so Calvin Heinberg came in and he was signing some discs. That's why I've got a few Calvin Heinberg signed discs. But anyway, he, he was in here. Uh, he was actually at Flight Factory signing discs and somebody got their disc signed and gave it away in the exchange. So that's how I ended up with this Toro. Very, very cool. Next up, this was a disc that I brought to Calvin Heinberg to sign. I went and bought it at Flight Factory. It's just a, a, a nice destroyer here with the Rasta. Ross the shark teeth stamp really love that Calvin Heinberg signed of course so um I'll show you guys my other signed discs real fast before we move on to the other ones um another Calvin Heinberg signed disc we have this Vela here I have thrown this a little bit on the channel um this is the one Calvin Heinberg signed disc that I actually kind of threw around a little bit really really cool um then we have the Calvin Heinberg Halo Destroyer. Uh, I pulled this aside because this was like the last destroyer we had at Flight Factory. I was working there at the time, so I went and picked this up. And they were like, hey, we're doing a Calvin Heinberg signing again. So I went and got this signed by him. Um, we have the Paige Pierce signed Fierce, five-time Paige Pierce. Um, this was a disc that my girlfriend used for a long time. It's, it's a little bit used, but um, we got it signed by Paige Pierce. So now we're kind of our hanging it up, not using it anymore. Um, and then I have a Ricky Wysocki signed felon here. Uh, I can't remember. I think I bought this from somebody on a Facebook group for not very expensive. I, you know, not very much more expensive than the felon itself. So very cool that I was able to pick that up off somebody. So moving on, we have probably my most valuable disc. This is the Simon Lyon first run prototype time lapse. Um, I was very, very lucky to be able to snag this disc. Um, I actually drove over an hour to get this disc. I, I woke up the morning of the drop and I was like, there's no shot. I'm getting one of these discs. I already know Flight Factory wasn't selling any of them. So as you guys probably know, every shop that, you know, could buy these discs only were able to get 10 of them. So I drove an hour for a chance to buy this disc and I was the ninth spot. I was the ninth person there. If I had gotten there five minutes later, I would have been like the 11th or 12th spot. Um, they filled up really fast after I got there and I was able to get this beautiful, um, beautiful time lapse here. Even being ninth position, they, they had really cool options at this place. So very lucky, very, very lucky to get that. Moving on, we have these Stokely discs. I did do a video on these discs. Um, Kind of just keeping them around. These are like their uh, pre-production prototype. So kind of just keeping these around. If I wanted, if I really wanted a Cardinal or a Wren, I would probably go buy one of the production runs. Um, this is thermoplastic and the stratoplastic. These were pretty good discs. I did enjoy throwing them around. Um, but yeah, cat, get off my thing. Go. But yeah, I did enjoy throwing these around for the video. Um, but yeah, we're going to hang those up because, again, the pre-production room. So then we have just the PDGA. Uh, I think this is a relay if I'm not mistaken. Um, Oh, insanity. It's not a relay. It's insanity. This was from buying the birdie club. Uh, when you sign up for your PDGA thing. All right. And that's going to do it for my collector's discs. Um, so now we're going to be moving on to just the whole collection itself. Uh, starting out with a couple one speeds. Now I do have all these organized in some way, uh, mainly just by speed. So I used to kind of have them based on stability and speed, but we just kind of, you know, after you pull discs out and put them back and they just don't go where they're supposed to go. So um, anyway, we got a couple one speeds here. We have the spore. You guys may have seen the video on that. And we have a glitch jar of blue is a glitch. I used to have a lot more glitches and um, one speeds, but I don't know what happened to them. I must have sold them all. <laughs> um, we have a stack of inner cores here. These are just base plastic inner cores. My dog chewed up on this one. Um, my girlfriend really liked to putt with the inner cores, and I threw them around for a little bit as well and was putting with them. So that's why we got a stack of them. Um, now, moving on to the three speed putters, I have a lot more three speeds than I do two speeds. So We'll just jump right into it. Uh, first of all, we have the Bedanza stamped alpaca. Um, I think I did. Uh, yeah, I did a video on this disc, and um, 
Yeah, I'm just not. I'm just not a big alpaca guy, really. I, I I like the feeling of it. It's just a little bit more stable than what I'm used to. Uh, so, as you guys know, I put with Pixels. So anyway, we have the Christmas tourney Luna. Uh, picked this up at the Blue Angel tournament last year. Um, very cool. I was actually a little late to the tournament and still ended up really getting a really cool disc. So I'm happy about that. I've got a pair, a perfect pair of pixels here, same color, same rim, same exact weight. Um, yeah, perfect pair of pixels. This will probably be my next uh, set of putters after I beat in my other ones to a point where I don't feel like they're very usable anymore, um, which will be a long time. This pixel right here was left on my carport shed for a long time, um, or it was left on my RV port little cover that I had for a long time. So that's why the top of it is white and the bottom of it, it used to be this pink color um, all the way around. But yeah, still a very usable disc. I mean, it just got sun a little bit faded in the sun. So very cool. I kept that around. Another pixel, special edition. Um, I've got a couple of judges here. We got an Emac judge and then we have a normal judge just, you know, to try them out. I have another perfect pair, uh, first or prototype Kratos. These are like rainbow stamp, um, same weight, same stamp, same color. Uh, very cool. Perfect pair there. Those will stay in a bag. Um, now moving on to my more three speed putters. These are more like throwing putters for me. Um, we have the nomads. I actually used to putt with these for a while, but then I kind of realized that I'm not a fan of putting with premium plastic. So those go back. Um, we got the proxy. I got about this basically just for glow rounds. I didn't really use it a lot. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I never really vibed with the proxy that much. We have the gyropalooza glow envy. Uh, pretty cool there. We have a James Conrad Envy. I used to putt with these as well, um, but now they're kind of just throwers for me. I've actually got one in my bag to throw, and that's my, that's my backup one. Um, this disc is very, very cool to me, very special to me. This is the Eagle McMahon Rebirth Envy, and um, we were you guys may have seen the video. We were playing out at UWF, and some guy, he was doing the yard. He was actually doing the lawn there, like cutting the grass or whatnot. And he was like, hey, do you guys mind if I throw one? And we were like, sure, yeah, sure. So I gave him this disc to throw, and he straight up aced the hole. This was on video, too. Straight up aces the hole right in front of us with my disc. And he was like, do you care if I keep the disc? I was like, yeah, you can't have it. <laughs> you know, if it was any other disc, I probably would have let him have it. But since it was the Rebirth Envy, and I had picked this out at Flight Factory, this cloudy purple one, um, I, I couldn't let him keep it. But I did let him sign it. And we're hanging it up. And uh, it's just a very cool story to have. This one here, um, I got pretty lucky getting this. This is actually a pretty rare disc as well. This is the OTB Open Envy. I went into Flight Factory and bought this. This was the last one they had. And I didn't even know that it was like sought after or anything like that. I just went in and I was like, oh, I like that stamp. I didn't even know what it was, to be honest. This is when I was like very fresh into disc golf. This disc had come out. And I was at Flight Factory and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. I'm going to buy that. And now, like, people are looking for this disc. So, very cool, very cool. All right. Oh, we got stuff falling here. All right, so that's going to do it for the putters, three speeds. Um, we're going to be moving on to four-speed approach discs now, which I do have a few of. So, we'll go ahead and get started here. We have the OTB Open Temple. Um, I did have this in the bag for a little while. Very nice disc. Um, we have the Discraft Zone OS. Uh, bottom stamp, Brody Smith. Very cool, very cool. Um, we have a tournament disc right here. This is a Toro, a Glow Toro. And we have another Toro here. This is a Luster Champion Toro from the Flight Factory Open that I was in. And then we have another tournament disc right here. This is a harp um, that I got from my girlfriend to use for a little, a little while. She did use it for a little bit, but she kind of switched over to the zone. So... Um, moving on, we have my temples. You guys know I used to throw thought space temples for a little while. It's like a zone, but more overstable and they're kind of in a base plastic. Really, really awesome disc. Um, we have the test flight zone banger GT. Uh, I did give the ringer zone away, so I don't have that anymore, but we kept this one because 
this was the one that I wanted to win anyway. We voted for the banger top, and then they ended up both getting PDG approved anyway. So cool there. Uh, we have the inner color TNC from Yakun Discs. This is their base plastic mid range. Uh, well, they call it a mid range, just for the approach disc. It's four three zero three. Um, I did do a video on the Yakun disc, so if you guys want to see that, I'll leave a link in the in the card up top. All right, moving on to our five speed mid ranges. This should probably be down here because that's where the five speed mid ranges start. Um, so we'll just grab a handful here and get to it. This right here is my girlfriend's Anubis that she was using for a long time. Halo Anubis, um, very good disc. And then we have the Glow Hex that I was using for a long time. Um, I've kind of since moved on to like the detour and stuff like that over this beat in hex. Now you guys have definitely seen this disc right here. This is one of my favorite mid ranges right here, the lobster. Um, that's why I bought another lobster. We're going to kind of go back and do another video on the lobster. Um, but I kind of hung this disc up because I was afraid to lose it because I knew I couldn't replace it. So I kind of hung it up and started throwing other things. Um, we have a Matty O warship. This was given to me um, by somebody. Oh, yeah, by my neighbor, actually. So pretty cool. Um, we got Gyropalooza Hex. This uh, just, you know, came from the Gyropalooza box. We have the Glow Mana from Thought Space Athletics. This was a disc that I bought to kind of try to replace the lobster, but it's a little bit more stable, especially in this glow plastic than the lobster. So it wasn't quite the, the, the replacement I was looking for. Um, one of my more recent videos that I did was on the sea turtle here. Um, this is made by ocean discs. It's made out of 60% ocean waste. So a very, very cool disc here. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video again, we'll link it up in the top. All right, let's grab another stack. Keep on going. My hexes are kind of just all spread out here and <laughs> the mid ranges are not very organized. So we have my very first tournament disc. This was a fuse that I died. Um, kind of looks like the guy's like throwing into the sunset or something like that. So when it, when it was a really cool die. I, I really liked this one. And this is a, a fuse. Like I said, I did bag this for a little while before I discovered the lobster. Um, we have another Gyropalooza Hex. Didn't know that was in there. Um, this is a OTB Open Hex Proton Soft, I believe is what it is. Yeah, definitely has an S on there. Proton Soft. Um, this is actually a really good disc, too. It's not quite as beefy as most hexes, so that was a, uh, a nice disc I bagged for a little while. Um, next up, we have the You Like Buzz um, X Swirl Buzz. I really liked the feeling of this plastic, and I really like the flight of this buzz. There's nothing wrong with this disc. I've just kind of uh, started using other things, and uh, yeah, I kind of bought it just because it was funny. You know, you like buzz. So, moving on, this was the first disc I ever bought for my for my collection. Um, it is this beautiful dyed axolotl hex with the purple stamp. Um, yeah, just very beautiful disc. I have actually lost this disc, and somebody returned it to me, and I was very grateful. I almost cried when I lost this disc, so I, I just I don't throw it anymore because I'm really scared of losing it again. So it's kind of not really over. I mean, I could replace it, but I'd have to be spending like probably 50 or 60 bucks on a new one. So I'm just not trying to do that, you know, and it's died, you know, so it's special. Um, moving on another hex. This was a hex that my girlfriend bagged for a little while. All right. Keep going on the mid ranges. We've got the aura mana. Now this one was definitely closer to the lobster than the other uh, mana was. I'm pretty sure the lobster and the mana are the same mold. Could be wrong on that. Let me know. But I'm, I'm fairly certain of that, and this Aura Mana was definitely not as overstable as the Glow Mana, so it was a little bit closer to the Lobster, and I really liked that disc. Uh, we have a Bedanza stamped Inca, I believe this is. Yeah, Inca from Infinite Discs when he first got on the team, so that was really cool. I, I bought a few of his discs for that, and uh, yeah, I had a Pharaoh too, but I'm not sure what happened to it. I must have sold it or gave it away. Um, next up, we have the Cast Blast Nord. This is their first run Nord. Uh, I made a video on this, and you know, kind of how I do with all of my first run Cast Blast discs. We kind of hang them up afterwards because, yeah, you can't really get them any, any more like that in that plastic. So, 
Moving on to fairway drivers now. So we have starting out, we got some craves. I got two gyropalooza craves. Don't ask, don't ask me how I got two of them. That's just how it goes. We have another, uh, we have two more craves here. This was the one that I actually bagged for a long time, the watermelon crave. And then we have the rise of the crave, um, Halloween stamp, Sarah Hokum. All right, so that's gonna do it for the, the uh, six and a half speeds. <laughs> Moving on to seven speed drivers. We have a double stamp base plastic Leopard 3. We have another Leopard 3 that I dyed. Um, this is one that I got for signing up for the tag, the, the tags that we have here at Emerald Coast Disc Golf Club. Uh, so when you buy the tag, you can either just buy the tag or you can buy the whole pack, which comes with like a disc and a hat and stuff like that. So I bought the whole pack. Um, then we have an Emerald Coast Classic. This is a tournament that I played in. This is a Eagle, Champion Eagle. Um, I've got a couple of Athenas here. Both of these were in my bag, cycled out. Um, this was the first one, and I gave it to my girlfriend for a little while to use. She really liked it, and now neither of us use them. I don't know why. Um, I guess I just don't throw Athenas anymore. <laughs> so, um, moving on, we have the Prodigy F7. I actually found an F7 out of the course one time and fell in love with it. I returned it to the guy that whose number was on it, but I went and I had to go buy me one. Um, it's a very flippy fairway driver. It, it's kind of like a leopard or um, something something along the in that league right there. But I don't know. It has like this weird kind of thumb groove on it, and I just really liked the way it felt, so I bought one. Um, then we have a couple of Braves here. I have the Royal Brave and then I have the Orbit Brave. Um, I did do a video on these kind of showing how much more stable the Orbit Brave is. So if you guys are interested in that, again, we'll leave it up in the card. All right. So I know this is going to be like a little bit of a longer video, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, we'll keep on going. We'll try to speed through it a little bit. Moving on, we got the eight speeds. Um, this is an Essence that I actually found and it didn't have any name or number on it. And it's got a bunch of signatures on it. I'm not 100% sure what all these signatures are. Um, some of them have PDGA numbers, and I've looked them up, and they're people that I don't know. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if it's signed by a bunch of pros or what. It's pretty cool. Uh, this Essence right here, I actually won in a raffle at a, at a tournament. Um, so pretty cool Lumen Essence there. Then we have OTB Open Trance, um, pretty cool disc. I actually thought these were gonna be less overstable than they were, but they're pretty beefy, so, and there it goes. Um, next up we have a Saint Pro. I'm pretty sure these are eight speeds. Um, Saint Pro is a very good disc. I really love the Saint and the Saint Pro. I just love Latitude's plastic, honestly. Um, the Opto plastic is really good for some reason. I really like the optoplastic, but I'm not a huge fan of like Champion and stuff like that. I know it's probably really similar, but I just, I don't know. I really like the opto a little bit better. Um, so moving on, we have nine speeds. I really thought I had more nine speeds. I'm not sure what happened to them. I guess I have a lot more distance drivers than that. So um, yeah, we'll just get started here. We have the Nate Sex and Firebird. This thing is a super beefcake. I did have this in the bag for a little while just as like, a step up from my scepter. Um, so yeah, very beefy firebird there. We have the Coalesce, which is another thought space disc. I did have this in the bag for a little while as well. Uh, another Yakun disc. This is the Zihi, uh, nine five negative three and a half point five. Very cool colorway on that one. It was very flippy disc. Now, this is actually the very first disc I was ever given. When I, my very first round of disc golf, I was given this disc, a destroyer, <laughs> and a mid range and a putter. And that's what I played with. So I did end up keeping the, the fairway driver and the destroyer. So we have a Valkyrie here. My, again, my very first disc that I ever was given by friends. So very sentimental disc to me. I don't throw it a whole lot because it does get lost very easily. It's it's like a clear yellow color. So, I mean, I'm very susceptible to losing that disc. Um, one of my first cell dies here. This was a lift. Very cool. Like, kind of looks like the little spaceship is going into space over there. Um, I do have a video of me dying this on the channel. All right. 
that's going to wrap it up for fairway drivers. So we're going to be moving on to distance drivers down here. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, lower the camera a little bit for you guys. All right. So moving on to the distance drivers. Um, <laughs> distance drivers kind of take up their own little section because I do have a lot of them. We'll go on to the 10 speeds here. Um, we have a first run in of a Gorgon. Very cool, very swirly. I really like that one. Uh, if you guys haven't tried the Gorgon yet, it's an awesome disc. I do have a review on it on my channel. Here's another Gorgon here that I got at the Panhandle Doubles uh, Tournament. Double stamped. So pretty cool. Not a lot of them were double stamped. So I had to pick it up because it's a doubles tournament and it's double stamped. So pretty cool. Um, we have a Onyx that I used to throw for a good while. Um, and it just kind of made its way out of my bag. I don't know. I'm not a big Onyx thrower anymore, but. Um, we have the Thought Space Construct, the Aura Construct. This is a very good flyer right here. If you're looking to pick up a distance driver and you don't have the the arm speed to throw like a destroyer or something, this is a very good disc. We have another construct here. This one's a more overstable construct, Nebula Aura. Got the cool Wonder Bread stamp there. Very cool swirls on that. All right, moving on to 11 speeds. We have Thought Space Anubis. Or no, this is the Animus. What the heck? Anubis. That's the um, infinite discs there. But we have Thought Space Animus, another 11 speed. It's supposed to be like their Wraith, kind of, but it's pretty beefy. Um, then we have a couple of Star Wraiths here. This one is an F2 that I bought. This used to be my ketchup and mustard. If you guys have watched my channel for a little while and seen my daily distance drive videos, this is my ketchup and mustard. Um, just a couple of Wraiths. <laughs> so... And we have another wraith here. This is from a um, this is from a tournament, blast off doubles tournament, and this was a champion wraith, glow champion. And then we have another wraith here. This is a halo wraith, um, the very cool like wraith wraith. I guess I don't know what what stamp that is necessarily, but I actually had to buy this um, off of the off of Facebook because. I couldn't find this and I really wanted this stamp. So we went ahead and bought one moving on. We got a bunch of 12 speeds here. So brace yourself. Cause we do have a lot of 12 speeds. Um, so first off we have the Yakun disc Fuxi. Um, I'm not going to pronounce that in, in any other way. We're going to call it the Fuxi. All right. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, this is what it is. Then we have this old cloud breaker rising cloud breaker. Um, that I found no name or number on it. So we just kind of hung it up. Um, we got a couple more cloud breakers here. These, uh, this one I did throw, it's got like this cotton candy swirl to it. And then this one I haven't thrown yet. It's just with like a blue and green swirl. Um, we have a end of a racer, the first run racer. I did a video on this when I was in Hawaii. So if you guys want to check that out, I'd appreciate it. Um, we have a star turn here from the gold rush event um that we did last year all right moving on to my destroyers these are all my just actually no what am i saying these are time lapses on top but underneath that we have destroyers these are basically destroyers anyway i've got a couple of time lapses just a special edition and a stock run kind of watermelon color one um and now we have destroyers if you guys have seen my distance my daily distance drive videos you guys probably recognize this one this is a 163 gram uh, F2 destroyer that I have beat the heck out of. I used to just throw this against a tree until it until it flew like how I wanted it to fly. So that's a funny funny story there. This is the first disc I was ever given. Like I was telling you with that Valkyrie, um, I was also given this destroyer. Way too overstable for anything that I could ever do, even now. So I don't know why anybody gave me this as a beginner. Um, we have a Proto Glow destroyer. These ones are actually very cool. If I were to get back into throwing destroyers, this might make the bag because they're they're not quite as overstable as uh as even like a star destroyer. Um, okay, I gotta change my my position here because that was very uncomfortable. Um, we have another F two destroyer that my buddy Johnny gave me. Uh, it's very flat, and I like the peach color to it. So he just he gave me that. He's a really cool dude for that. Um. And then we'll get to the rest of the 12 speeds here. We have the Thought Space Synapse. This thing is an absolute beef monster. Um, very flat. I mean, same numbers as a destroyer, but it flies like a Halo destroyer on steroids. So 
Very, very overstable. Um, we have a Discraft Zeus. I did do a, a little video on this, I believe, or a short or something like that. Um, pretty overstable Zeus there. We have Paul Macbeth Hades. This is a prototype Hades. Um, you guys have probably seen me throw this on my daily distance drive videos as well. Very, very awesome bomber disc right there. Hooligan disc Yeet uh, that I died. I think I got this at a tournament as well, a tournament raffle, and it was just a white white Yeet that I ended up dying. And then we have this Venom here um, that I thought I needed and I thought I could throw, but I'm not Anthony Barilla, so yeah. Moving on to the 13 speeds, we have a Champion Daedalus. I found this disc out this disc out at the course, texted the guy, and he was like, I've never even played at that course. I don't even live in your state. Uh, you can just have it. I was like, okay, cool. So ended up using this a lot in my daily distance drive videos as well. Um, very, very cool disc there. Next up, we have the April Fool's Halo Groove that they did this year. Um, does have a little bit of a chip in it from where I hit the concrete doing my review, but hey, you know, stuff happens. We're making reviews with these discs. We're not just, you know, shelfing them. So there's that. Uh, they're going to get a little used, you know. So next up, we have my strives. I have the Orbit Strive, and then we also have the Royal Grand Strive. Again, if you guys haven't seen my video where I compare Orbit Plastic to Royal Grand, make sure you go check that out. Um, moving on, we have the 14 speed. I think this might actually be a 14 and a half speed. The Dimension, Eagle McMahon Dimension. Um, this is a bomber as well, and we've thrown this a good bit. So, um, and down here we have my collection of altars. I have a ton of Thought Space altars. I used to putt with these guys. Um, I still really, really love the plastic, and I think that they feel great. Um, they do get a little bit beat up and warped pretty quick, but that's why I've got a stack of 13 of them. I really thought I was going to putt with altars forever, and then the Pixel came out, and I was like, okay, Pixels are great. <laughs> um, so now we putt with Pixels. Yeah. So, uh, And then over here we have the giveaway pile, um, just a bunch of giveaway discs. Actually, this is not supposed to be in there. I'm not I'm not giving that away. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, that's not supposed to be in there. Um, but yeah, everything else in here is part of the giveaway pile. So if you guys don't know about the giveaway pile, we do a giveaway every now and then. We, we did our last one at 1,000 subscribers. So we'll probably be doing another one about 1,500 subscribers or so. But um, we do have a pile of discs here, and the, the pile continues to grow. Um, and we just pick a certain number of subscribers and let them pick which disc they want. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you do subscribe. We're sitting here on the floor. We're going to do the outro. Um, so to wrap it all up, kind of, if you guys are interested in buying any of these discs from me, hey, Kiki, um, I do have, I am going to be selling some of these discs, and I'm, in, I'm interested in selling a lot of them. Um, so if you guys do want to purchase any of these discs, Feel free to hit me up. I leave my email in the description of the videos. Um, so if you want to hit me up through email and possibly purchase one of these discs for me, I will be selling a lot of these discs for cheap, probably 10 bucks uh, with some shipping. So if you guys are interested in that, shoot me an email and let me know what disc you want and I'll let you know how much it'll cost and then we can arrange that from there. So um, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I know it's been a while since I made a video, and I appreciate you guys if you stuck around and watched till the end. That's going to that's gonna really help me out a lot. I know it's been a longer video, but um, yeah, we're going to be getting back into the normal swing of things here. I know I keep saying that on every video, but I actually mean it this time. Um, we're going to be getting up earlier and doing videos before I start work, so uh, I'm, I'm going to really commit to that. And I've got um, videos here. So like you guys seen, I've got these discs ready to go for a video. Um, we also have a new course coming out here soon. So just keep on the lookout for that. I'll be making a video about that. So you guys are going to see me. So without further ado, we'll show you guys some of the house renovations that I've been doing. Um, I'll show you guys the baby's new room. I'll show you guys my new room real quick, actually. We'll flip the camera around. Um, my desk is a bit of a mess right now, but this is my new office area. It's a little small. But, um, you know, it'll get the job done for 
for editing videos and playing some games and stuff like that. Excuse the mess, we are in construction still. So, you know, we just have kind of random stuff laying around. Um, oh, I, I almost forgot to show you guys my, this, of course, this is my bag. You guys have probably seen what's in my bag. And then we have the disc golf cart uh, that I bring out when me, me and my wife are playing. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is our new laundry area. Um, that room used to be the laundry room. We moved the washer and dryer out here, Well, we got a new washer and dryer and we built this cabinet around it, built the cabinet up top, um, put some paneling up on the wall and yeah, it's looking really good. We also, that's a new door there. We, we didn't have that door. Um, we got a new refrigerator, a uh, very nice refrigerator. Um, we did these countertops, butcher block countertops, painted the cabinets, new sink. Um, so we're very, very happy about that. We like the way that looks. We got this new couch right now. We, we actually just got this couch yesterday and our cat has already scratched up the arm on it. So we are very upset about that. But. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys still stayed till the end, um, I really appreciate you guys watching the video all the way through. It's going to really help me get to that goal of becoming monetized on the channel. It's the only thing I'm short now is the watch hours. So we're getting really close. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys if you watched all the way through. Um, Here's my new shed. So we're going to be doing our glass blowing, stuff like that. We'll uh, see you guys on the next one. I plan on going out tomorrow making a review. So keep a lookout for that. We're going to be making more videos um, more often, probably at least two a week, um, if not more. So, uh, and I mean it this time. I know I say that every time, but I actually mean it this time. So I love you guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.